Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be answering your vegan questions. And I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram, but before I jump into that, I just want to give you guys a little bit of background on how I actually became a vegan. In 2016, I went to a nutritionist, and there I did multiple detoxes just to clean out my body. And while I was there, a lot of stuff was uncovered, certain health problems that I was having, and what it could have been like in the future. While I was there, I was detoxing, exercising, we had some spiritual meetings. I will try to have it linked down below actually. He didn't outright say that I needed to go vegan. There are certain foods that hurt my body and give my body issues so I decided to cut those things out which was mainly dairy but I was never a huge fan of meat anyways. I wanted to be the healthiest that I could be to kind of repair my body. So when I left I decided that I was going to go vegan and that's what happened. I just wanted to clear the air. A lot of people think that I became vegan for more of moral reasons. Yes, I do love animals, but that's not why I became vegan. It was purely for just health reasons. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there before we start. And that really answers the first question, which was why I became vegan. So there's the answer. The next most asked question was, what do you eat? Most of the people that ask me this question are people that I have on Instagram. So I like to put up the foods that I eat when I make them. Sometimes I even have a little highlight, so if you're curious, you can go check that out. I'm just gonna insert some pictures here of the stuff that I make, just to give you inspiration, and if you're curious as to what I actually do eat on a regular basis, you can go ahead and check that out. The next question is how long have I been a vegan? Since the summer of 2016, that would be about three and a half years. Did you notice any changes in your body when you first became vegan? Uh, yes, the first obvious change that I saw was that I lost quite a bit of weight and even when I left and I was still continuing that lifestyle, I was losing a lot more weight. That's just something that's gonna happen right off the bat when you are eating healthier. Another thing that I noticed right away is that I had a lot more energy. When I used to have a big meal, it would make me feel really tired afterwards, but I actually had so much energy from the food that I was eating. Another common question is, is it expensive to be a vegan? This really is a question that depends upon the person because yes, generally eating more healthy or organic foods would be more expensive than having regular foods or junk food but also you have to think about the things that we are not getting so for instance we are not eating meat we don't buy meat and oftentimes meat can get really expensive another thing that also depends upon the person well me personally I don't want to speak for anyone else I end up eating a lot less than I used to eat when I wasn't a vegan because the food that I was eating didn't have as much of a nutritional value as the food that I am eating now does so so now I can really just eat twice a day and I'm fine. I don't have to eat as much or as often. So the amount that you're buying generally will be less or your food will last you a lot longer. I am not tempted to eat out as much. A lot of the food that I make is at home so I am saving money. So yes, it could be more expensive but in many ways it can definitely even out. Are there different types of vegans? Yes, there are. I've heard of fruitinarianism, fruitinarianism with the word here. And those are people that I think primarily eat fruits and maybe nuts and seeds and that kind of thing. There is a raw vegan and that is a person who is a vegan who does not cook their food but everything that they eat is raw so like fruits, vegetables, no heating, no cooking involved. And then there is also a plant-based vegan so they're not eating any processed foods even if it is vegan. Everything is just fresh produce and then there's a regular vegan so they could cook their food, regular produce food, processed vegan food. Next question, if you could be a vegetarian and not a vegan, would you? Um, I don't think I would. I did like dairy a lot, but it does affect my body, so I don't think I would because I don't enjoy that pain. That kind of ties in with the next question, which is, have you ever cheated? Yes, I have. Not with me. Two of my biggest weaknesses, honestly, are macaroni and cake. I love cake. I kind of 
catapulted into this lifestyle. I didn't ease into it as slowly as I would suggest other people to, so it definitely was a little bit more difficult to me. And yeah, I definitely did cheat, but every time I did, I paid for it. And I think the main reasons for that happening was because I felt limited. Being vegan isn't just supposed to be cutting a lot of things out of your diet. It's also about including a lot of the healthier foods that you can eat and are supposed to be eating. Can you give us some tips on how to slowly become a vegan? The first tip that I would definitely say is to take it slow. A lot of people, they just want to say, hey, I'm going to be vegan for a week and then it's such a big change. Their body is shocked. I would say to cut out things one at a time, a certain kind of meat or a certain kind of dairy. The next thing I would say is to definitely do your research. Understand what you can eat and understand what those good foods are doing to your body. And the third thing that I would say as a tip is to basically make your food beforehand. If you make a day's worth of healthy vegan food, you're guaranteed to eat that way. What did your friends and family say when you made the decision to become a vegan? For my family, the first thing that they said was, okay, we'll see how long this lasts. I'll give you like a week. As far as my friends go, the reaction that I get from them basically is, well, what do you eat now? They seem to be very curious as if I'm this whole different person. Did you find most people being supportive or not? It's definitely half and half. Some of them are like, oh, you go girl, you know, you know, they believe it's a good choice. And then there are those people that really are just determined to talk me out of it and tell me why being vegan is not a good choice. You're going to miss out on B12, omega-3, proteins. I just want to get into people's heads right away and say that protein does not equal meat. Please get that out of your head. Yes, when you eat meat, there is a lot of proteins in there, but that is because it is something that was once living and the animal's bodies need protein in their muscles. And where do they get it from? They get it from the food that they eat. We need proteins in our body and we get it from the food that we eat. And it doesn't have to be from another animal. There are so many proteins in vegetables, nuts, I don't mind how you get your protein, so it just kind of irritates me when people are just so sure that I'm going to be missing out on certain vitamins or something just because I'm not eating meat. Were there people who ever tried to tempt you and be funny about it? Uh, yes, especially uh, newer people that I tell, first thing that they say, is oh you don't know what you're missing or if they're eating a pizza or something they try to shove it in my face i just find that to be really disrespectful because i don't think i'm missing anything if you are eating a pizza in front of me it doesn't bother me at all or if you're eating meat in front of me you do whatever you want to do but this is my personal choice and it just boggles my mind how people nowadays in 2019 don't really respect uh, other people's personal choices this is my choice i didn't have to do this i could have gone back if I wanted to. I could go back now if I want to, but I don't. So I don't feel like I'm missing anything. No, I don't want to eat your pizza. No, I don't want to bite of your hamburger. What is the most difficult part about being a vegan? I would say trying to eat out. There are a lot of places now that definitely are vegan, vegetarian friendly, but it definitely is really hard. I would say being a vegan isn't really convenient. And last question for you guys is do I recommend being vegan to everyone? That's a really good question. I know everyone's different. Everybody's body is different. Mm. I don't think anyone would die or be seriously malnourished from not eating meat or not eating dairy just because there is so many different foods that you can eat to replace those things. I love it because if you are lacking something, you can just look up a food that's rich in those things and you don't have to be lacking on anything. I think anyone can definitely benefit from being a vegan. It can do so much for everyone and I would definitely recommend trying. I know there are so many people that say, oh no, I could never do that. I could never give up meat. Guys, I used to have probably like two or three dishes of macaroni like a week. I used to have eggs like every other day and I loved it. <laughs> If I could give up those things, you guys definitely could too. If you feel like there's something going on that's wrong, you're most likely shocking your body or your body's not absorbing all the good foods. And to fix that, I would say definitely detox. I know kind of a lot of information, but there's a lot of crevices and corners in your intestines and food regardless 
of what diet you have gets stuck in there so every once in a while detox especially if you're planning on becoming vegan or vegetarian so that's all the questions that I have for you guys today thank you for giving me so many questions to ask thank you for your curiosity comment down below and let me know if you want me to do any more videos on being vegan what I eat so any more questions that you guys have let me know comment your questions down below and I'll answer them I answer to everyone but thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe it's always in the palm tree in the corner here and I will see you guys in my next video